researchers may choose to impute missing data, replacing the unobserved data in some way. Previous modules have discussed how the WWC addresses missing and imputed data when calculating attrition and assessing baseline equivalence. As noted in the baseline equivalence, which is module three, only randomized control trials with low attrition can meet WWC group design standards when there are any imputed outcome data in the analytic sample. Any other analyses with imputed outcome data in the analytic sample receive the does not meet WWC group design standards rating. Recall that in module three, baseline equivalence, we discussed how the WWC uses pre-intervention or baseline measures to assess equivalence of the intervention and comparison groups. The WWC also applies the reliability criteria for outcome measures to these baseline measures used to demonstrate equivalence. Pre-intervention measures used to demonstrate equivalence must satisfy the same reliability criteria as outcome measures. If reliability information is unavailable for a pre-intervention measure or the reliability is below the acceptable level, the study cannot use the measure to demonstrate equivalence. Sometimes a pre-intervention measure is a pretest score of the outcome measure. In this case, the study automatically satisfies the reliability requirement for the pre-intervention measure if it did so for the outcome measure.